How you doing YouTube, Facebook, Twitch TV? I'm sending a shout out to my group, The Digital Gathering on Facebook. I just want to talk to you guys today about retrospective. I was thinking about um, the Xbox 360 and what made me purchase the Xbox 360. I remember vaguely um, that Black Friday uh, 2005, I believe. The Xbox came out earlier that week. I believe it was on a Tuesday. And um, I was saving my money. And I really wanted to get an Xbox 360, but instead I just got a laptop that Friday. Um, I did get an Xbox later on. I believe it was March or April. But um, what made me gravitate more towards the Xbox 360 at the time than the PlayStation 3 later down the line was that I was looking at the uh, trailers. And some of the trailers I was interested in at the time, it was Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, and... Um, uh, Rainbow Six Vegas and with Rainbow Six Vegas, oh my goodness, um, I believe really what they were trying to do, Ubisoft at the time, uh, was test out new control models. Because if you think about it, Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six, and um, um, Splinter Cell, they have different control schemes of how you would control um, a character um, you know, for cover fire. I think they were testing that at the time. With the um, Ghost Recon, you would have to press, a, I believe it was a thumbstick, to put the character behind cover so he could shoot over the wall. And that was the same thing with um, Splinter Cell at the time. I think it was the RB button or the L, LB button. I don't remember. But um, with the Rainbow Six Vegas, I believe they got that right. <clears throat> Because all you had to do was use the left trigger at the time, and it felt fluid, it felt functional. Um, you could stick your hands behind the wall and shoot, do a blind fire. I thought it was really cool at the time. And then another thing that gravitates uh, me towards the 360 at the time was the upcoming vision camera. Now this thing, with well, a game like Rainbow Six, you're able to scan your face. You take a front picture in the front, and then a side picture, and then you can actually pretty much scan your face into the game and I, I really wanted to believe that more games in the future was going to have this feature I think all games should have this feature when you think about it this new Xbox one should have this feature on this game since every Xbox one come packed with a connect camera but with this thing this is pretty much what sold me on buying a 360 yeah so what was your retrospective? What was you looking out for, like the gears of, of war in the future, like the, the chainsaw, uh, rifle? What was you looking forward to? Me, it was Rainbow Six Vegas, the damn vision camera. That's what sold me. All right. Yeah, that was in retrospect. But you guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you think they should implement the Kinect camera for this next generation? How would you like to see your face in a video game? Just like in Rainbow Six Vegas. I think they should do that with the new games. Matter of fact, with this Kinect for the Xbox One, I think they should do as much as they can to implement uh, what you can do with the Kinect. Really, no bullshit in here. Um, whether it's scanning your skateboard or putting the game or, or, or putting your fabric to be you know, matted on your car and Forza. I think they should do whatever the hell they got to do to implement Connect into a video game to make sure that people know it was worth it to buy an Xbox One. So what do you think? Do you think Microsoft should do more with the Connect 2.0 than they did with the previous one? Let me know down in the comment section and join my group, The Digital Gathering on Facebook. You can also like Eric Tendo on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel up here. Later. Relax, pretend it's a game.